recently PowerApps released the modern controls and themes that you can enable in the properties. If you click on settings and go to updates, you can enable modern controls and themes. Right. What happens here is that now I can insert modern controls and once I change the theme, the color of the controls will also change. Here, for example, I have a header, a button, a progress bar and a spinner and I'm selecting the themes in the side pane and the colors are changing. Now the question is, what are the theme colors and how can I access them? For example, here I have a text that I inserted and this text doesn't come with the theme colors and I want to add it. So how is this object? Let's see in this video right now. First of all, behind this card here, this question mark, we can see the JSON object that represents the theme colors. In this text, I'm showing the app.theme.colors. This is the this object has the colors from the theme and I'm transforming it into a JSON so we can see it as a text. We can see that we have some colors called darker 10, dark and darker 20, up to darker 70. Then we have lighter from 10 to 80. We have primary and primary foreground. Okay, these are the colors from the theme. Basically, it means that, for example, I can select the text and add a color here in the font color property from the theme color object. In order to do that, I need to do app theme.colors. and then I will see what are the available colors. Let's say lighter 40. Now the text gets the color from this object. But it's not easy to understand what are the colors since they are showing here as a hexadecimal. And I don't want to keep guessing the colors trying all the options. Here is where it comes. The second thing I want to show here in this video, that's this control I created to preview the colors from the theme. Now I'm going to play the app to make it easier for us to visualize. And here we can see that we have a gallery that has all the theme colors by the name, the hexadecimal value. We have a color preview and a button that we can click and it will copy the color path to our clipboard so we can use it. Hold on because soon I'm going to show how you can insert this on your app with just a few clicks. Let's copy for example darker 20. I'm going to click here. Now on my clipboard I have this darker 20 path. I can go to the text again in the font color and just paste in there. Let's delete what's in here and paste. Now it's going to assume the darker 20 color. This color maybe is too dark, it's difficult to see that it's green, but it is. Let's get lighter 10. I'm going to click here, I'm pressing Alt on my keyboard, and now I'm going to paste in here, and the color is going to change. Now if I go to this side pane, in the themes pane, and change the themes color, we can see that this text is also going to change the colors, because now it's referring the app theme colors. Okay, so this object here, that's basically composed of a header, that's a, a horizontal container with some texts inside it, and a gallery that has all the color properties, can be inserted on your app, so you can easily visualize what colors you can access to using other controls that don't come automatically with this color. And how can we insert this? Well, let's go to a blank screen so we can start from scratch. To quickly insert this, we have this website called Power Apps Tools, where we have several code snippets that you can copy and paste inside your app. Let me search by this snippet called Theme Space Colors Visualizer. Then I can click here on Copy Yamo and going back to my app. I can right click in the Canva, hover over paste and select paste code that will paste the very same control inside my app and now I can start using it to see the colors and copy the theme colors in order to use in my app. It's very simple, 
And now I'm going to leave you with a suggested video so you can keep learning more about Power Apps. See you in there.